Así yo la sentí un poco. Difícil. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Now I can hear you. That's something really good. Ahora sí ya los puedo escuchar. Ayer tuve problemas con lo que era el audio. Eh, no sé qué pasaba, pero ahora ya los puedo escuchar. Así que ahora sí vamos a poder hacer un par de prácticas y eso. So, we are going to start. Vamos a comenzar. Um, let me share my screen. Here we are. Let's see. Um, Yesterday, we were talking about the past. Ayer estuvimos hablando del pasado. Um, we were talking about was and where. Hablamos de was, where, and also we um, were talking about did, the use of did, making questions, making statements, um, positive, negative, and all of that. Ayer estuvimos hablando de eso, ¿verdad? Del pasado, del was, el where, el did. Eh, ¿Qué tipo de preguntas podíamos realizar? ¿Qué tipo de oraciones positivas, negativas? And so on. Um, at the end of the session, yesterday, um, I wrote a sentence or a question. Al final de la sesión de ayer, yo escribí esa pregunta. Where were you born? The role play. Um, donde nacimos. I said uh, yesterday that you have to think of a place that you really like around the world and um, think that you are a person that live in that place. Le dije en, al final de la clase que pensáramos en un lugar, una ciudad que nos gustara alrededor del mundo y pensáramos que vivimos ahí, que es nuestra nacionalidad, es nuestro lugar de nacimiento. But first, uh, before talking about the question, we are um, start the class like this. I have a um, sentence right here that it says, you are the artist of your own life. Don't hand the paintbrush to anyone else. That is the phrase for today. You are the artist of your own life. Don't hand the paintbrush to anyone else. La oración de hoy. Ustedes son los artistas de sus propias vidas. No le dejen eh, el pincel a nadie más. Solo ustedes toman sus decisiones. Then, we have the review of the topic that we were talking uh, about yesterday. Some questions. The new topic for today that is use to and some exercise. So we have here, where were you born? Donde nacimos? Let me see. I have some names here. So I will show someone that will um, help me with the sentences. Let's see. Mm. Jimmy Saldana or Jimmy Saldaña. Good night, teacher. Is Jimmy Saldaña. Okay, Saldaña. Good. Tell me, where were you born? What is your city? Uh, my favorite city is uh, Chicago. Chicago. Okay, thank you. Jimmy, help me with this. Choose another person to ask the question. Escoge otra persona. Uh, Miss Patricia. Patricia Herrera. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Jimmy? Me vas a hacer la pregunta. Yes. Sí, Miss Patricia. What is your, what is your born? Um, I was born in Costa Rica. Okay, good, Costa Rica. Patricia, someone else. Um, 
Uh, Jacqueline. 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 <laughs> Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. Jacqueline, where were you born, Jacqueline? Uh, I was born in Orlando, Florida. Oh, nice. Jacqueline, yeah. who's someone else? Uh, Maria Jose Ayala, where were you born? Okay. in Mexico City. Okay, Mexico City, nice. Um, are you there? Hello? Hi. Is, uh, where hi. Are you born? Good evening. I was I was born in Tokyo. Tokyo, nice, good. Uh, Ailey. Ailey? Yes. Ailey, hello Ailey. Hello. Where were you born, Ailey? I was born in Paris, France. Okay. Nice. And... Carlos Ernesto. Hello. Where were you born? Oh, hello, teacher and guy. And I was born in Canada. Oh, in Canada. Good. And Amy, Michelle, ya pasó or no? Yes. Maria Jose. She also uh, answered the question. Another one. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, where were you born? Who? Quién? Uh, no sé si me escucharon. Este, María José ya pasó, ¿no? Yes. Eh, oh, sorry, es que quiero observar. Si no me, me, teacher. Uh, oh, Evelyn wants to uh, answer the question. Evelyn quiere, yeah. quiere ayudarte con la respuesta. Yes. So, um, I was born in Japanese. Oh, you were born in Japan. Good. Japan. Yes. yes. Do someone else. Evelyn? Puedes escoger alguien más. Hello. Yes. Eh, no sé. Amilcar, uh, are you there? Mi partner. Uh, you are Amilcar? No, I am Reinaldo Juárez. Okay. But where were you? No. Where, 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 como es? Where were you born? Where were you born? born? I was born in Australia. Okay, Australia. that's right. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. In other continent. Yes, Amilcar, um, Reinaldo wants to answer the question. Um, Herbert Douglas? No, Reinaldo Juarez, please. <laughs> Okay, uh, Reinaldo Juarez, uh, please to meet you. Uh, where were you born? I was born in China. Okay, mm -hmm. good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good, good, yeah. good. Thank you. Uh, another Sorry, partner? Interesting. Yes, please. I'm Maria Jose Ayala. <laughs> please to see you again. What panel else? Hello, um, panel. I don't know who who are. I think Luis. Luis. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Yes. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, where Where are you born, Luis? I was born in Germany. 
Okay, thank okay. you, everyone. Good, amazing. The big city. Yes, good. Okay. Now, we are going to continue with the topic. So, um, after that, um, is uh, like um, a little review because of the topic. It is not complicated at this point. Um, no es un tema muy complicado, so we are going to um, go to the next topic or the um, the exercise. I have some question here, so let me move this. And we have some questions here. These are questions that we are going to um, write both answers. Um, positive and negative. Son eh, preguntas donde nosotros vamos a contestar de manera positiva y negativa. ¿Por qué? Uh, porque lo estuvimos viendo ayer. Uh, remember, we have two kind of questions. Open questions and yes and no questions. Tenemos dos tipos de preguntas. Las open when uh, we can add some information of the um, things that someone is asking. And we have the yes, no question, there are short answers. So let's do something like this. Did Sun fly to Tokyo last month? Mm, we can say, no, he didn't. And we can add some, um, some details. No, he didn't because he got sick. En esa respuesta, fue o voló a Tokio eh, Sam el mes pasado? No, he didn't. No, él no lo hizo because he got sick. ¿Por qué? Porque se enfermó. That's a, um, a long answer. So, let's see this one. Where they live uh, for their class? Two um, answers. Yes, they were. And no, they weren't. We have two kind of questions or answer. Tell me. Then another open question. <clears throat> Did it rain last week? Yes. Yes. It was okay. raining. Uh huh. Or it was raining. All the day. Maybe. Again, another open question. Did Mr. Smith go to work this morning? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It was his first day. ¿Fue a trabajar el señor Smith esta mañana? Sí, lo hizo. Era su primer día. Then, what is hot yesterday? ¿Estuvo caliente el día de ayer? Two answers. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was very cold. Cold yesterday. Another one. Were they at home yesterday? No, they weren't. Or yes, they were. Another open question here. Did the dog bite you? Te mordió el perro? Yes, he did. Because he was very angry. Or no. He didn't because he was asleep. 
Sí. Tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? Las diferencias en las respuestas. Was the coffee hot? Yes or no? Easy. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Did you watch TV last night? No, I didn't. Why? Because I was um what um making my homework. So I was making my homework. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh yes. Yes. I did Thank because you. I wanted to watch. A movie. Ahí está. Nuestras long answers. ¿Vimos televisión la noche pasada? No. I didn't because I was making my homework. I was playing with my kids. I was um, writing an essay. I was um, so tired that I decided to go to sleep. Or yes. I did because I wanted to see a movie. Or yes, I did because um, my mom went, uh, wanted to see a soap opera. Or yes, I did because my children want to see a movie. Tenemos muchas opciones aquí. En, la, en el did, como ya decíamos, son las open questions. Podemos dar le, respuestas más largas y agregar detalles. Con eh, was and where, Solo nos limitamos a lo que la pregunta en realidad nos está eh, tratando de llevar, ¿verdad? Ese camino, ¿sí? No ser puntuales. Then, we are going to end this part. Were they busy? Yes, they were. <coughs> were the exams difficult? ¿Eran los exámenes difíciles? No. No. They weren't. They were. Was easy. the movie good? Mm, yes, it they was. Were. Did she find a, a better job? Ella encontró un mejor trabajo? Yes. Did she find a better job? She did yes. find she did. a better job. Was your classmate at the library? ¿Estaba tu compañero en la biblioteca? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. And the last one, did you train on your own time? Yes, it did, because it is always on time. Ahí está. So different kind of questions that have different kind of answers. Open questions, long answers, yes, no question, short answers, and positive and negative. But that is a little review of the topic that we were talking about just. Now, we have this um, new topic that it's called use to, use to. Solía, Spanish. Solía. It is referred to the past always. Como estamos hablando del pasado, eh, vamos a utilizar esta frase o esta expresión used to, solía, para referirnos a cosas que hacíamos en el pasado. So, let's um, write an explanation. Okay? We use... So, we use, use to, expression, plus infinitive, we are making like um, a formula here. 
To talk about past situation that is no longer true. Let's focus on this. It says that we use the expression use to plus infinitive to talk about past situation that is no longer true. We are going to um, make like um, a versus. Vamos a hacer algo así como un verso. In this case, we are talking about uh, situations that we perform in the past. Cosas que nosotros hacíamos en el pasado. Que tal vez en el futuro o en el presente ya no van más. Por eso dice que no son ciertas. In this case, we are talking about something that I did in the past that I am no longer doing in the present. For example, I used to play with dolls when I was a kid, but I am not doing it right now because I am an adult and I am working. Si ponemos un ejemplo del used to, podemos eh, poner cosas que nosotros hacíamos de niños. I used to play with cars, dolls, balls, and a lot of things. Yo solía jugar con muñecas, carros, etcétera, etcétera. But now that I am an adult, pero ahora que ya soy un adulto, I am not doing it because I am not playing like that. So this is the use for this expression to explain things that we did in the, in the past, but maybe right now it is not true or is just a memory or it's just something that I did, but I am no longer interested in. So it tells Okay, it tells us that there was a repeated action or a state in the past which has now changed. Esto nos dice que es una acción que se repetía o un estado en el pasado que ahora ya cambió. So that's the base or the most important thing that you need to know about the expression used to. It refers to something that um, was a repeated action or a state in the past, always in the past, because we are talking um, about the past simple or past actions, but that now change and we are not doing that action or, um, or a state in the present. So here we have an example. He used to be when she was younger. She, she used to be a long distance runner when she was younger. Ella solía ser una um, Persona que corría, ¿verdad? Grandes distancias cuando era joven. But now, maybe she is um, sick. She is working in something different. Um, she has children, maybe. Um, she is too old to do it. So, it was a past action that was repeated 
in that time. But now it's something different. Another one. I didn't used to sleep very well. But then I started doing I didn't use to sleep very well, but then I started doing yoga and it really helps. That is something that um, most of us have um, lived in our life that we have some times in which we can uh, sleep well because of the work, because of the um, um, daily life, because of a lot of things. This person here says that uh, he or she didn't use to sleep well, but then something changed because this person began to do yoga to help him or her to sleep better. In este caso, I didn't use to sleep very well. No eh, solía dormir tan bien, pero encontré una manera de cambiar eso. But then I start doing yoga. Una acción que cambió la primera parte de nuestra oración. Cambió esa acción y ya no tiene ese problema para dormir. Entonces ahora ya duerme mejor y es una cosa que le pasó en tiempo pasado. Now, here we have a question. Did you use to come here as a child. In this um, question, I want you to remember something. I have here uh, the auxiliary that is um, telling me that my uh, question is in past. So in this case, I am not changing this one into past. Recuerden que cuando utilizamos el auxiliar en pasado, ya no cambiamos el verbo eh, que nosotros estamos utilizando en la oración a pasado, porque ya tenemos la pauta adelante que nos está diciendo que nuestra oración está en pasado. So, did you used to come here as a child? Yes. Solías um, venir aquí de niño? Es una pregunta que le podemos hacer a alguien to talk about something that he did in the past. Another example. Let's see. Let me put this one and have. I used to have long hair. We are talking about something physical. I used to have long hair, something in the past. But we are talking about the present at the same time. But now I have short, I used to have long hair. Mi cabello era largo, yo solía utilizarlo así. But now I have short hair. I cut them, easy. Hablamos del Pasado y del presente. He used to smoke. But now, he doesn't smoke. He used to smoke. Él solía fumar. But now he doesn't smoke. He changed that. They used to live in India. 
But now, they live in Germany. They used to live in one country, but now they moved to another one. So they changed the um, state, that action that they did in the past. With the negative questions, and um, the question is used, as I said before, and not used. Como les decía, en la pregunta, ya tenemos did y no cambiamos este, I used in the past, because ya, um, porque ya tenemos nuestra pauta de nuestra pregunta en pasado. So, some examples of questions. Then, you use to be a teacher. And we are going to mark this one to make the difference of the question and the sentences. Did he use to study French? He didn't use Lie, chocolate, what she does now. I didn't use to want. To have a nice house. Here we are marking the auxiliary that is making our questions or sentence in past, not just the expression used to. Something really important to know is that with this expression used to, there is no verb V. We can say, I am used to have long hair. I am used. In this case, um, cuando estamos utilizando la expresión used to, vamos a, a ponerlo por acá. Used to. Yo no puedo utilizar el verbo be. I cannot use a verb a be. So we can say, I am, I am used to have long hair. That is not correct. Here we have the very B. So in this kind of, um, in this kind of sentence or questions, we can use the verb be, just the expression use to. So we have the structure to follow when we are going to write some questions or statements. We have positive, negative and question. The first one is the positive. We construct our uh, sentence writing first the subject that we already know are the pronouns or the people that we already know. Plus, the expression use plus infinitive and we have here an example. 
I use in past to like infinity him, the compliment. I is the subject, use is the verb use that we are um, writing here, infinitive, to lie. This one is the infinitive and the complement, him. And we have a sentence in positive using this structure. Then we have negative. Again, the subject plus, in this case, we are adding did plus not plus use plus infinity. And we have the example. I didn't. Use to work. And the question. We are changing the positions. Auxiliary. Plus subject. plus use, plus infinitive. And at the end, the question mark. Example. Did you use to drink? And then we have another way to make questions with um, use. Again, we use the WH words plus did plus subject plus use to plus verb in present. Plus complement. Plus question mark. Okay. There we have the structures right here. The positive, the negative, and two kind of questions. So right now we are going to um, do something different. Oh, we are going to do an exercise. Exercise right now. I need you to think about five actions. Five actions that you used to do when you were younger. I need you to think about five actions that you used to do when you were younger. You're, mm, you can write your um, sentence in some piece of paper, your notebook or something that you have in your hands. And I will give you time to write the sentences. And then I will ask you to read the five sentences that you did with them five actions that you used to do when you were younger. But I will help you with my um, sentences. There are my five sentences. Let me see. Number one, I used to like soccer games. Second one, I didn't use To lie, it's the root. 
Number three, I use to read a lot. Number four, I didn't use <clears throat> hello walk alone okay. number five I use to watch a lot of horror movies okay Ahí están mis cinco oraciones con las acciones que yo hacía en el pasado. Number one, I used, oh my God, I used to like soccer games. Me gustaba o disfrutaba ver eh, partidos, ¿verdad? De fútbol. Number two, I didn't use to like pet food. No me gustaba la remolacha. Number three, I used to read a lot. Solía leer mucho. Number four, I didn't use to walk alone. No solía caminar sola. And number five, I used to watch a lot of horror movies. Solía ver muchas películas de terror o de horror. So, think of five actions and then write your sentences. I will give you some time to write the sentences. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, por, ej por ejemplo, eh, siempre precisamente tiene que llevar como un argumento la oración, porque lo que usted estaba haciendo anteriormente, eh, esto que usted solía hacer y a la par le ponía un argumento más. Uh -huh. O también se puede, y también se puede de las dos maneras, como lo está haciendo ahorita. Yes, you can do it in both uh, ways. Lo puede hacer de las dos maneras. De la manera simple, solo pone su acción que usted realizaba en el pasado sin cambio. O sea, no va a explicar por qué dejó de hacerlo. Pero si quiere, eh, digamos, hay una significativa. Um, I used to eat a lot of vegetables. Yo solía comer muchos vegetales, but now I prefer eh, something else. Pero ahora prefiero algo más. Puede poner su argumento o puede dejarlos así cortitos y simples. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hello. Tell me. Okay. Okay, I have my five sentence. Okay. Okay, I used to play basketball. Mm -hmm. I didn't used to play mathematics. Okay. I used to go to to the mountain. Mm -hmm. I didn't use watch TV. Okay. I used to take a bus. Okay, I used good. To, I used it to take a bus. 
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. When you are ready, you can read your sentence. Monica, tell me. I got my five sentences. Mm -hmm. The first one, I didn't okay. use to watch television. I used to do a lot of exercise. Okay. I used to eat a lot of white beans, but now I can see it. I didn't used to watch Betty La Fea, but, but now I love it. Okay. I used to drink a lot of water. Okay, good, thank you. Edith. Hello, I can hear you. I, I can hear you. I, I don't know what is happening. Teacher, I have my five sentences. Okay, tell me, Patricia. Okay, I used to live in San Salvador, but now I live in San Marco. I didn't use to wear glasses. I used to read a lot when I was in the college. I didn't use to share photos, but now I like to share in social media. Okay. I used to watch Netflix, but now I didn't. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> Edith. Hi, it's Chair. Hello. Um, I think we can do something, Edith. Um, creo que podemos okay. hacer algo porque no, 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 le, no le escuchamos. Si gusta, puede leer los, las oraciones y mandarme un audio a WhatsApp y lo vamos a compartir con los demás. Okay, teacher. Tell me, Amilcar. Okay. I used to like soccer game, but now I like to paint. I didn't used to like uh, beetroot, but now I like beetroot. I used to read a lot, but now I have enough time. I didn't used to work alone, but now I work alone. I used to watch a lot of horror movies, but now I don't. Okay. Okay, thank you. Emily. And I used to eat chocolate. I used to go to my grandfather's house. I didn't use to talk about my feelings. I used to play with my cousins. And I didn't use to study hard for exam. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Reina. I used to spend a lot of money. I didn't use, use to buy vegetables. I didn't use to read the newspaper. I used to see a movie every night. And I used to visit a doctor many times. Okay, good, thank you. Someone else? 
Okay, let me see. Elizabeth. Hi. Uh, I say my, um, my, <coughs> I'm so sorry, I, I think, okay. okay, I used to short hair, I used to get dizzy on the bus, I used to play softball, <coughs> I did use to drink coffee, I used to go to the war, but now I work with um, home office. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline. You're welcome. I used to sleep very well. I didn't use to like the onion. I used to eat a lot of watermelon. I didn't use to work. Uh, I use it to eat very vegetable. Okay, thank you. Someone else? Me, teacher. Tell me. Okay, I used to play soccer when I was job, and I used to go to the shore every day. I used to work when I was pregnant, and I used to go to the gym. And I used to visit my grandmother. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Me, teacher. Tell me. Dina. Yes. Yes, Dina. I used I used to visit my parents. I used to watch Netflix. I used to play basketball. I used to read a book. I didn't used to like Apple. Okay, thank you, thank you. Good job. You're welcome. Me, teacher. Tell me, Jimmy. You said to like watch TV. You said to read the newspaper. I didn't use it to visit a doctor. I didn't use it to glasses. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, first Ailey and then Diana. Okay. okay. I used to play with other children. I used to ride a bike. I didn't used to drown. I didn't used to eat vegetable. I used to run in very much. Okay, thank you. Diana? I used to play soccer. I used to listen to music. I used to eat a lot. I didn't use have long hair. I didn't used to eat meat. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Tell me, Reynaldo. Okay. I used to like uh, play soccer. I didn't used to write. Uh, run, excuse me, what to say, correct? Run. Running. Run along. Run. Running, run along. Mm -hmm. I used to read, uh, I used to read a lot. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't used to um, walk, how do you say, larga distancia? Long distances. Uh, long distance. I didn't used to walk long distance and I used to watch the um, scary movie. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, everyone. That's a really good. Okay, someone else. No, okay. I think that we already um, end with the participations. So I have here some questions, but these questions I am not going to write it in the, um, in the screen. Tengo unas cuantas preguntas por aquí, like a practice, como una práctica. Uh, estas preguntas no las voy a poner en la pantalla. I just am um, going to read them and we'll show some of you to answer the questions. So let's see. 
I have some question here. Hmm. Who will be the first person? Let me see. Ailey. Tell me, teacher. I have a question. What games did you use to play? Um, I know to play <laughs> video game. Oh, video games you didn't play, but another game? Mm, I play basketball. Basketball, okay. Thank you. Let's see, Amilcar. Okay, teacher. What do you use to do at home? Hey, could you repeat, please? What did you use to do at home? Um, I used to read uh, a lot of books, always. But okay. now, uh, but now I always uh, I like to read. Uh, all time. Uh, always when I walk to work, always uh, uh, I I carry a book. Okay, because okay. I, I like to read and I like to study English. Uh, oh, always. that's good. Okay. So, thank you. So here we have um, the participation that we can uh, hear in the moment when we were um, saying the sentences. So let's, I don't know if we can hear it, but she is uh, saying. Okay. Um, we have the uh, sentences in the group. So thank you for the participation. And okay, that's it. Then I have another question. Let's see, Jimmy. Yes, teacher, tell me. What food did you use to eat? What? It's chicken, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Let's see, Diana. Tell me, teacher. What clothes did you use to wear most? Repeat, please. What clothes did you use to wear most? Uh, I used to read. Wear. To wear or use. ¿Qué clase de ropa solía usar? Mm -hmm. Oh, I used to <laughs> wear jeans. Okay. Good. Reinaldo. Yes, teacher. What books did you use to read? Um, I used to read Iliada. Okay, that's really good. And the last one, Evelyn. Evelyn? She's sleeping. Tell me. Hi, teacher, me. Yes. 
Yes, but but you. Um, did okay. you used to have a lot of friends? Excuse me. Did you use to have a lot of friends? And what is friends? Amigos. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I used to uh, to have three friends. Okay, good. Thank you. So this is um Jacqueline, tell me. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. A la última pregunta yo puedo responderle. No, I didn't use to a lot of friends. Y está bien. Um, yes, in that case, you can say yes. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Si queremos oh, utilizar yes. respuestas cortas, las podemos utilizar en este tipo de preguntas. ¿Por qué no, no las utilizamos? Tell me. Uh, le preguntaba porque vi que empezó la pregunta con el auxiliar uh -huh. y no como las preguntas anteriores, pues que eran yes. más específicas de uh -huh. lo que la persona solía hacer. Entonces, por eso pensé que... Sí, se puede. En este caso, si eh, nos ponemos a comparar las preguntas anteriores que hacíamos con el did, eran open questions. But in this case, we are talking about some specific actions in the past. Estamos hablando de eh, acciones específicas. En el use, cuando utilizamos la expresión use, vamos a ser más específicos en la respuesta de ese tipo de preguntas. Pero sí podemos contestar alargando nuestra respuesta o simplemente yes, no answers. Entonces, para quedar claro, teacher, I use to es como lo que solía hacer y el I didn't use es como no solía hacer tal cosa. Exactamente. Ok, teacher, muchas gracias. Bueno, ok. That's all for today. So, thank you for been here in the second session. So let's see um, <clears throat> tomorrow at the same hour. So good night and have a, a good sleep. So see you tomorrow. Teacher, teacher, una consulta. Tell me. Usted dijo que no se va a enviar lo de los verbos. Yes. Ya, yeah, uh, um, ahorita terminando la, la sesión se los mando. Hoy sí. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. It was a pleasure to be with you this day.